So here we go. Before we get started and start our project and the real action, let's go ahead and just take a quick look about the introduction for this course. And this is uh, Ahmed Muzaffar for you in case this is the first time you visit the channel. So also don't forget to hit like and subscribe. I'm a cloud solutions developer and .NET Microsoft certified trainer. You can reach out to me through Twitter at uh, Ahmed Muzaffar 99 and view, view my official website, Ahmed So this is... Uh, a quick introduction about me. So, what's Planner App version 2? If you are uh, new for Blazor or something, then maybe this is the first time you see this. But if you are already searching for Blazor before, you are definitely see the Planner App version 1, which is a to-do application that we have built uh, last year when the Blazor is still in the preview edition. So, uh, it was good. It got like somehow the biggest number of views on my channel. But the problem is... Uh, Blazor then was in preview. There was, there wasn't that cool AI component like what we have. A lot of stuff actually happened from last year until now. So, a lot of th things to to get covered within this new course. And uh, so basically, it's a cloud to do application, and we are going to build this from A to Z, exactly from A to Z. We are going to cover all the stuff that any real application needs until we deploy this application and make it available online. So. What you're going to learn through this course if you follow it from the first video until the last one. First of all, you're going to know and learn about Blazor of Assembly, what it is, how you can build apps with it, how you can get started. And then we are going to cover the topics that all the stuff that you need throughout Blazor. So we will cover routing, authentication using JSON of tokens, layouts, components, structure and communication, how to build your UI components or how to use the component that existing in a, the mud blazer UI components, which is the one that we are going to use, how to deal with the parameters, cascading parameters and event call packs. You will see how we can handle errors, uh, communication with a RESTful protected API, which is the back end of our project. It's 100% ready for you because all the concentration of this course is just uh, client side. And then we will deploy the project and the most important thing is you are going to learn how basically you think while you are developing real projects and the thing that you should take consideration of before you, like while you are coding, it's not going to be just a sample tutorial, add some forms and that's it. And of course, there are many other things like uploading files, uh, forms, etc. So many stuff to be covered through also this course, but just at like the big uh, headlines. So right now, let's go ahead and see what we have before we get started. So first of all, if you visit the link here, it's going to be in the description box below called plannerapp-api.azurewebsites.net. Basically, this is the official website of the, this project and the, the backend, the SQL server is existing online. So there is a database, the API is up and running. So you can just directly go ahead and communicate with this. If you it, if you are interested in, in the code of this API, you can simply just click on or go to GitHub. Yeah, maybe you can click over here and then go to repositories and search for Planner App API, the first one. And here you can find the full code of this for the version one and version two are basically existing in the one place. So the, 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 the previous version of this course is still there. Nothing changed. Uh, if you are following from the old course, uh, your APIs and your endpoints as are still there. The new one for what we are going to use for this course are going to be under version two. So if you click on API documentation, you can see here those are all the endpoints that we have actually uh, available for us. So if we click here and we click on version two, this is the stuff that we are going to use basically for our API. So <clears throat> as you can see here, we have the authentication. Right now, those endpoints are much better and much cleaner in terms of code, in terms of the implementation of, of them. So yeah, again, as I've said, you can find all the code, the versioning and the controllers within uh, that repository of the API because this course is just the client side. It's going to concentrate on how to build the Blazor WebAssembly application. So, we are going to get started first by implementing the authorization, register, and then uh, login. And 
or we will start, sorry, first with login, implement all the login system, and then you know, with register, then we are going to start implementing the plans, how you can create a plan, edit the plan, show the plans, open the plans detail, and delete. And then we are going to implement to-dos, which actually all the items that are existing under one plan. So this code right now is going to be much better, uh, cleaner, much cleaner actually, comparing to the previous one. And uh, we will leverage uh, more amazing stuff because anyway, Blazor become much better after releasing .NET 5 and our experience has been increased. So this is in terms of uh, the introduction of what, what materials that you have available for you over here. And the UI components we are going to use is Mod Blazor. I already mentioned this in one of my uh, videos. Here, we are going to go ahead and implement all of those uh, like buttons, lists, dialogues, cards. We have a lot of cool stuff. You can check the video of Mod Blazor if you want to go a little bit in details like what's existing here and there. So this is basically what we are going for. And uh, we will learn also something else, which is uh, get, how we are going to use get throughout the project because I'm going to, to be live or for all the changes I'm going to do, like nothing going to happen behind the scenes for this course. All the stuff we are going to do for this project is going to be in front of you on the screen, nothing behind the scenes. So you will see how we are going to manage the, uh, the, the, the uh, the get, how to clone the project, how to yeah, develop everything totally from scratch. So I think this is enough as an introduction. Right now it's time to start the repository and uh, go ahead, create the project also in Visual Studio and yeah, kick this off, uh, kick this course off. Okay, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.